Something strange is happening to 3i Atlas again. Just when astronomers thought they understood its eerie emerald glow, new data from multiple observatories have revealed that the color is shifting. Not fading, not flickering, changing, as if the comet itself is alive. Spectrographs that once showed a steady green signature are now picking up unexpected wavelengths, hints of blue-white pulses beneath the surface haze. Some scientists think its shift means its chemistry is reacting to sunlight in ways we've never seen before. Others suspect something even stranger, that the comet's outer layers are shedding material from deep within, exposing compounds that have never touched starlight in billions of years. It's the first time in history we've watched an interstellar object evolve while inside our solar system. The same green visitor that stunned astronomers just months ago is now rewriting its own story in real time. So what's really happening to 3i Atlas? Why is its color changing when no known comet can behave this way? And what secrets could it be revealing or hiding before it disappears forever? It started quietly, just another blip on a telescope's nightly sweep. On July 1, 2025, the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile flagged a moving speck racing across the star-crowded sky. At first, it looked like a routine detection, a fast-moving object, a few arc-seconds of motion. But the algorithms hesitated. The math didn't fit anything familiar. When the orbital data came in, the realization hit. This object wasn't looping around the sun, it was escaping it. Its path was hyperbolic, open-ended, the signature of something not born here. The numbers were staggering. 61 kilometers per second, cutting through space like a cosmic bullet. Too fast for an asteroid. Too perfect an angle for anything ejected from Jupiter or the Oort cloud. The first whispers started in Slack channels and observatory message boards. Could this be another interstellar? Within hours, confirmation followed. It was official, the third object ever observed entering our solar system from the depths between stars. They named it 3i Atlas, the third interstellar visitor to cross our cosmic doorstep. But what set Atlas apart wasn't just its speed. It was alive in the data, shifting, brightening, revealing a faint coma far too early for a body still so distant. Telescopes across the globe turned their lenses toward it. From Mauna Kea to the Canary Islands, researchers reported the same thing, a comet behaving like it already felt the sun's heat long before it should. And then came the strangest detail of all. While its trajectory proved it came from beyond the solar system, its chemical fingerprints didn't match anything we've ever cataloged. Spectra hinted at compounds that shouldn't exist in ordinary comets. A blend of carbon dioxide, cyanogen, and something else scientists couldn't yet name. 3i Atlas wasn't just visiting, it was announcing itself. A traveler from another star, carrying chemistry older than the sun, and velocity to match. No one expected the first real mystery to come from the amateurs. While NASA's systems crunch numbers and observatories scheduled telescope time, the discovery that stunned the world began in the backyards of ordinary stargazers. On the night of September 7, 2025, the sky itself put on a show. A total lunar eclipse bathed the moon in a deep red glow, a night photographers around the world couldn't resist. But as those crimson images filled social media, one frame from Austria started spreading for a different reason. It showed the faint outline of a comet, glowing with a soft icy blue haze. Hours later, a new image appeared, this time from Namibia, same comet, same night, but now its entire halo had turned vivid green, like someone had switched on a cosmic neon light. At first, no one believed it. Camera glitch, one astronomer posted. 
bad calibration, said another. But more photos poured in, from Chile, South Africa, Japan, even handheld telescopes in the U.S. Midwest. Every image showed the same thing, a green so intense it almost looked artificial. That's when the disbelief turned to alarm. Comets do turn green sometimes, but only for one reason, a molecule called dicarbon, or C2, fluorescing in sunlight. It's a classic sign that a comet is outgassing, releasing frozen chemicals as it warms up. But with 3i Atlas, the timing made no sense. It was still too far from the sun for that reaction to kick in. And the shade of green was wrong, richer, deeper, pulsing with intensity even through small amateur telescopes. Professional astronomers rushed to confirm what they were seeing. Observatories scrambled for telescope time. By dawn, hundreds of independent observers had verified the same thing. The color change was real, and it wasn't going away. When the first spectral readings came in, the confusion only deepened. There was no trace of dicarbon, none of the chemical fingerprints that should have explained that eerie glow. Instead, the light seemed to come from something else entirely, a molecule or reaction no one could identify. Weeks later, new data showed that the glow itself was changing again. The intensity fluctuated night by night, fading slightly, then surging back brighter than before, as if something inside the comet was reacting, alive and unstable. Some suggested solar flares were interacting with the coma. Others whispered about exotic compounds breaking apart under ultraviolet light. But whatever the reason, one fact remained. 3i Atlas wasn't just reflecting sunlight, it was doing something, transforming right before our eyes. And that meant one thing. This wasn't just a comet anymore. It was a message written in chemistry, and we were watching the ink change color in real time. When the first detailed spectra from 3i Atlas came back, the results left scientists speechless. Every telescope, from Gemini South in Chile to the James Webb Space Telescope orbiting far beyond the moon, reported the same impossible truth. The molecule responsible for green comets didn't exist here. There were no swan bands, no trace of C2, the chemical that paints most comets that familiar emerald hue. Instead, the instruments picked up a completely different chemical fingerprint, one that didn't match anything in the solar system. At first, researchers thought it had to be an error. The data was rechecked, recalibrated, and reprocessed dozens of times. But the readings held firm. The coma, the glowing shell of gas surrounding the nucleus, wasn't made of water vapor or dicarbon at all. It was dominated by carbon dioxide, nearly eight times more abundant than water. That ratio alone flipped every comet model upside down. In our solar system, water always leads. Carbon dioxide is just an afterthought. But 3i Atlas was the reverse, a chemical world where CO2 ruled, hinting at a birthplace far colder and darker than any corner of our own system. And then came another shock. Deep within the ultraviolet lines of the spectrum, astronomers spotted something they almost dismissed as noise. Faint, repeating peaks belonging to nickel, but no iron. That made no sense. Every comet we've ever studied contains both. They form together, bonded in the same grains of cosmic dust. But Atlas had broken that rule too. 22 distinct nickel emission lines burned through its spectrum, while iron was missing entirely. The conclusion was unavoidable. This wasn't the chemistry of our sun. It was the chemistry of another star, born in a completely different environment, shaped by physics and temperatures our system never knew. Some researchers proposed a wild theory that the nickel wasn't metallic at all, but trapped inside organic molecules, forming strange nickel-carbon compounds that evaporate at lower temperatures than iron. If true, it meant Atlas was carrying a record of alien chemistry, materials that formed billions of years before Earth even existed. Each new observation forced scientists to rewrite their models in real time. The more data they gathered, the less sense it made. 
How could a comet from another system be so active, so bright, and so alien, yet still survive the journey through interstellar space? No one had an answer. But one thing was clear. The mystery wasn't just about what Atlas was made of. It was about where it came from and what kind of world could create something so strange. By early October, excitement around 3i Atlas had reached a fever pitch. Every major observatory wanted a piece of it. Every headline screamed about the green messenger from another star. But as the comet drifted closer to the sun, something unexpected happened. Earth's most powerful telescopes were suddenly blinded. Both Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope are marvels of precision, designed to peer across billions of light years, but they share one fatal weakness. They can't look anywhere near the sun. Even a few degrees too close and the light could destroy their optics. And on October 29, 2025, Three Eye Atlas would sweep dangerously close to it at its perihelion, the moment of closest approach. Inside NASA and ESA command rooms, debates turned heated. Some scientists argued this was a once-in-a-lifetime chance. Others warned that turning the instruments sunward even briefly could end their missions forever. In the end, caution won. Earth's flagship telescopes would have to look away, just as Atlas reached its most revealing moment. But fate had a backup plan, and it was orbiting Mars. Trailing slightly inside the comet's path, the red planet was perfectly positioned to catch what Earth could not. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and MAVEN mission scrambled to retask their instruments. In a flurry of late-night engineering calls, flight teams reprogrammed cameras and spectrometers, recalibrated sensors, and carved out narrow observation windows. They had one shot, maybe two, before Atlas sped past. For a few days, Mars would become humanity's outpost for interstellar science. While Earth's telescope stayed blind, orbiters above the red planet would stare directly into the comet's green heart. It was a poetic twist. The planet we've been exploring for decades would now return the favor, helping us study a visitor from another world. And the data they hoped to capture wasn't just about color or chemistry, it was about transformation. Scientists suspected that as 3i Atlas neared the sun, the heat could crack open its surface, releasing materials that had been sealed since before our solar system was born. If the comet truly carried alien compounds, this was the only chance to see them come alive. But the window was shrinking fast. Every second the comet moved closer to the sun, the glare grew stronger, the risk of data loss higher. The countdown was on. Across mission control rooms, from Pasadena to Madrid, every eye was locked on one thing. A speck of green light racing through the void, holding answers humanity might never get again. As October faded, so did 3i Atlas, slowly, almost reluctantly. Its once blazing emerald glow began to dim, swallowed by the sun's glare and the dust of its own trail. The telescopes on Mars caught their last glimpses, a shimmering fractured coma, its light pulsing with uneven rhythms, like a heartbeat fading into the dark. And then, it was gone. For a few weeks, data trickled back across millions of kilometers, fragments of spectra, flickers of ultraviolet readings, whispers of nickel and carbon signatures buried in noise. Each bite of data felt like a message from a dying traveler. The more scientists decoded, the stranger it became. Even in its final moments, Atlas refused to behave like anything they knew. When teams analyzed the light curves, they noticed something eerie. The green glow hadn't vanished, it had migrated. Sections of the coma had begun emitting at different wavelengths, faint traces of blue and violet radiation, as though the comet's chemistry was still evolving, reshaping itself as it disintegrated. It wasn't dying quietly, it was changing form. Weeks later, astronomers searching through old sky survey data found something they'd missed. Hidden inside the raw frames of the TESS space telescope, there it was, 3i Atlas, captured two years earlier, faint but unmistakable. The same happened with test images from the Vera Rubin Observatory, taken months before its official discovery. 
The comet had been in our view all along, but no one recognized it. That realization hit hard. The universe hadn't just given us a mystery, it had given us a warning. We almost missed it. At conferences, scientists now speak of 3i Atlas with a kind of reverence. It wasn't the brightest comet. It didn't split or crash or dazzle with fireworks, but it changed how we look for meaning in the night sky. It proved that interstellar visitors aren't just wanderers, they're messengers carrying fragments of ancient worlds that no longer exist. And maybe, somewhere out there, another one is already on its way. A silent traveler, unseen for now, carrying new chemistry, new colors, new clues about how the universe builds itself. Because 3i Atlas didn't just pass through our solar system, it reminded us that we're part of something infinitely larger, a cosmic network of creation, loss, and discovery. And the next time the sky turns green, we'll know to look closer.